everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am very excited to be filming. It is one that I've been looking forward to for a little bit and it is a how to declutter and to organize your hallway coat closet but on a budget. And this is a collaboration with Cass over on Clutterbug and if you haven't, which I'm sure you have, seen her channel, you need to go and check that out and check out her video, which I will have listed down below, as well as a right up hand corner and an information card right here. So, I'm going to jump right into this closet right here. And honestly, this closet has been a thorn in my side since we moved into this house nine years ago, I believe. Uh, when we moved into this house, closet space really wasn't an issue. The main hallway hallway here had two closets as well as a closet by the side kitchen door. That closet we turned into a mudroom bench and we have hooks as well as four baskets, one for each family member and there's a hook for each family member as well as additional hooks for extra things. But that is where we will store our current in season clothing. So. If it's springtime, the bins will have a spring related gear, so splash pants, uh, ball caps, and in the winter, it would have winter hats and mittens and scarves. And so the hooks would have our coats and the two little side hooks would kind of, one will hold my purse or an extra bag. And the kids also have their own bins closer on to their level for their school bags. So that, I've termed my mini mudroom and I've done a blog post on that because I participated in the $100 room challenge and I will link that uh, blog post down below as well as an info card right here. So you can go and check out what I did for my mudroom makeover. But without any further ado, I want to tell you the steps that I took to organize this space, which you can tell right now that it is not organized. So I'm going to go through those and let you know what I'm going to turn this space into. What I'm thinking is it's going to be a place to store all of our out of season gear. So based on what season it is, a place to store everything. Also, the kids are in so many various extracurricular activities that it would be nice to have a place just to kind of corral everything together. And so if we have swimming, I can say, kids, go get your swimming bag and they'll know exactly where to get it. And we don't have to be scattered all over the house trying to find what we need. Madeline's in dance and gymnastics. Connor's in squash and they're both in basketball. They're both in swimming and in the winter, they're both in skating. So they're always on the go and I wanted a place to put everything. So right now, I don't know if you can quite see it, but everything is kind of a mess. We have old shoes, we have coats, we have bags. My husband also stores his basketball stuff in here and his gym bag. So I need to make a system that works for us. And currently it is not working. So I'm going to go through my top five tips on how to create an organized, simple, functional coat closet. So I hope you continue to watch and don't forget after you watch my video to head over to Cass's and to watch hers and show her some love. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I wanted to give you an overview on what the closet looks like before I change it up. It's just a hot mess right now. Originally, there's only one basket up bin, I guess, up there right now, but there are others, and I'll show you those in a minute because I already took, took them down. A pile of hangers and coats. I've gone through this and already um, threw a bunch into a donate pile. Again, I'll show you in a moment. Then we have this system here that originally was working great with these wired bins, but they seem to just kind of take up a a bunch of uh, space and everything is just thrown in there. Shoes are everywhere, winter boots, hockey helmets, skating helmets, 
and now it's trickling down to the floor. We have a pair of ski pants. We have Matt's basketball bag that he takes to the gym and basketball. Then we have some of my shoes, a random cover to a bin, a school bag. So we have a school bag here, and that is what I normally take their skating stuff to. And I am going to walk into the living room. And then we have a cover, and this is where the other bins are located right now. I was going through them, and there's two more over here. So I need to drastically apart down all of these items and figure out something that will work into this closet space that is functional, simple, and stylish, I guess. I'm not sure, I just need it to work and not to turn out to be a hot mess. So let's get to it. Tip number one is to clear out your space. You wanna be able to see the full space empty and in order to visualize how to set up your closet space to be functional and organized for you and your family. So I'm going to continue clearing out the space and see what I have to work with. So tip number two is to, after you declutter the space and you are working with a completely blank canvas, so I have nothing in the closet, I put all of my items into categories, so like with like. So over here, I piled all the shoes, all the bags over there, helmets are over there, I have jackets and sweaters, and hangers there, that's uh, a sport item which I paired with the bags because all the equipment would be in the bags right now. And then over in the living room, which is a hot mess, I'm <laughs> drying clothes, this is real life folks, um, I have the bins over there and then these are the units that I'm hoping to con to a repurpose into the space. And and now I'm going to go through and tip number three is to purge and declutter and get rid of the items that we no longer need or use and that is just taking up space. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm hot on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever All blacked out, then flying with you I don't care that my mind's gone insane And my heart will burst into flames No, I don't care about the heartache and pain Just don't
wilder Don't care if I get out of line Tip number four is to clean your space. That could be painting, freshening up the area by adding an accent wall to the back of the closet, or something as simple as just wiping down the walls, such as I am doing right now. This really freshens up your space and makes it feel clean and put together when you start to put all the items back into the closet. So I definitely suggest cleaning it out and um, freshening up your space. Tip number five is to use what you already have. So looking at the items that were previously in your closet, Try to repurpose them. Search your house before you go and purchase any new items. I had bins down in the basement that I ended up using, as well as some hooks and 3M command hooks that were just sitting in a box. And instead of going and buying something new, I was able to reuse something I already had. So that is my fifth and final tip is to use what you already have in your house. Nothing can make us fall apart. I'm ready to answer for what I've done wrong in my life. It's nothing, I promise. It's not enough to make you cry. I'm only human. So I am finally finished with the closet and I wanted to give you an overview of how the space looks. And show you what it looks like right now. On the top shelf, I ended up putting the kids' ski pants suits into a bin each, so Connor, Madeline. And on top, you can't really see it, but I have their hockey helmets or like their skating helmets sitting on top. The two bins there are our winter hats and mitts and scarves so one bin is adults and one bin is kids so being from Atlantic Canada and living where our climate definitely changes and we have lots of snow hat scarves and mitts are a must so we have a bin each moving down I think this is where I see the most drastic change is I hung my winter coat and mats and then I have another winter coat. I have two. This is like my ski coat, the one I wear when I'm shoveling and the other coat on the other side is the one I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I didn't have a system that I really liked for Matt's basketball bag. He uses that weekly so it needs to be easily accessible for him and I have it stored just on a hanger so he can grab and go and we can slide it over if need be. Squash racket is hung up there by a 3M command hook. Then the 3M command hooks I had were not strong enough so I screwed in this hook and it houses our picnic blanket and this is a bag that I put our skating stuff in when we go to skating. And then down underneath that I have another bag just hung up and then that is a mitt drying rack and then Matt's winter boots. Right now it's working out fine because my winter boots I donate it because they didn't know they don't really fit comfortably and I want to get a new pair so I'll have to reassess this come next year but for now I think this will definitely work. Over on this side I have my gym bag and our swim bag and my skates and mat skates underneath. 
These two bins are the kids skates on the top and that is summer beach stuff on the bottom. And then I took the top off of this bin and I made it so I could store Matt's basketball, the kids football, baseball mitts, any spring, summer activity sporting wise can go in there and that I think will be the perfect solution. So when the kids want to look for something, they know where to find it. And when they put it away, they know where it goes. And that is all I put into the space. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm really happy with how the space turned out and I think it will be a simplified, functional, clutter-free space in our home that will work for me and my family. And hopefully these systems that I put into place will follow through and we will see a lot less clutter and we will have a place for everything. I ended up donating a pile of things that were in this closet. I have no clue why we even had them, but we did. And thank goodness it was the time to clear it out and pare down and just minimalize and simplify our entire life. So uh, remember, this is a collaboration with Cass, so don't forget to go and check her video, video out, which I will have linked down below. And I hope you are enjoying what you are watching. If you like these sorts of organizational, decluttering, simplifying videos, please give this one a thumbs up. And if you are liking the content you are watching on my channel, please consider hitting the red subscribe button down below and join my YouTube family. It would mean the world to me if you did. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day or evening, whatever time you happen to be watching this. And as always, take care. We'll see you soon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye now.